We used to have each other's playlists No, no We used to be each other's best friends Yeah And now we go our separate pathways Hi guys, welcome to the Macau day trip vlog. This was my first time going to Macau and I went as a day trip from Hong Kong. If you're interested in seeing what I did in Macau for a day, then just keep on watching. There are two ferry companies you can take from Hong Kong to Macau and that is Turbojet and Kotai Waterjet. We chose the latter and got first class slash VIP tickets for the price of Turbojet regular tickets. The travel time for both companies is around 55 minutes. Once we arrived in Macau, it was almost lunchtime, so we took the complimentary Venetian shuttle bus from the Taipa ferry terminal to Rua Tzu Cunha, which is a small pedestrian street offering a bunch of local street foods like Portuguese egg tarts, milk tea, and more. I really recommend taking the Venetian shuttle bus since Rua Tzu Cunha is literally a 15 minute walk from the Venetian. After filling our stomachs with food, it was time to go to the ruins of the St. Paul's, which is on the other side of Macau. We took a taxi there, and along the way, we saw the Macau Tower and the Grand Lisboa. We belong together. Me and you forever. We also walk through Senado Square, which contains lots of Portuguese colonial architecture. Across from the fountain, you can see the old Senate building, which is now occupied by the Municipal Council. This is also a great place to do some shopping, as the square is filled with different shops. We also came across St. Dominic Church, which is another major attraction in Macau. If you follow a whole bunch of signs, it will eventually lead you to the ruins of the St. Paul's. We went around 2 p.m. on a Sunday and it was literally packed with people. It was also very interesting to see the back of this amazing architecture. There is a wall where you can see pictures of how the church evolved in the past 200 years. We were planning to go to Gia Fortress afterwards, but it got super hot in the afternoon. So instead, we decided to go to a whole bunch of different casinos to walk around. We took another complimentary shuttle bus from Wynn Macau to Wynn Palace. For dinner, we went to a super local restaurant on the Taipa side but unfortunately they ran out of a tofu dish that I really wanted to try.
Later on at night, we went to see the strip where you can see the Venetian, the Londoner, and the Parisian all on one street. I highly recommend going to the strip at night as the streets are beautifully lit. Then we made our way to the St. Regis for drinks and I have to say that it definitely did not disappoint. You're about to see probably the best cocktail I've ever had in my entire life. It had multiple layers of flavors to it, from creamy to yogurty, then to a bit bitter and sour. They also had live music at different hours of the night. And to finish off the evening, we went to watch the infamous fountain show in front of Wynn Palace. It's every 20 minutes starting from 7 p.m. and every 30 minutes from noon. And that is the end of this Macau vlog. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're planning a trip to Macau, I hope you found this video to be somewhat helpful. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in my next travel vlog. Bye guys!